Hey, this is Damon with Haggerty. <laughs> Woo! And today, we got something new for you. Okay, so here's what we have. We have a 1958 Ford Country Sedan station wagon in all its glory, well, as it was parked in the mid 70s. And today, Jeff and I are gonna see if we can get the motor to run. Why? Because we can. Well, maybe we can. Mm, that's a possibility. Yeah. Ford Black 150. This is it. Is that it? That's it. Really, we got that lucky the first, <laughs> yeah. the first third yeah. of these keys. Man, I can't beat that. Yeah, that's it. All right, what's our plan? Well, the first thing we're gonna have to do is see if we can get the engine to turn over. Okay. Because uh, we'll be dead in the water if if the first step doesn't happen. Makes sense. Uh, pull the plugs. Uh, Get some juice down the cylinder walls. Okay. And we'll start from there. All right. Cool. I got a battery too. Yeah. A battery. Put a battery in it. Here you go, Ben. Good. Look at that fresh oil change at some point. I bet you it ran when it parked. You think? Absolutely. <laughs> or at I least when it, I think at least majority, when it was new. I think the majority of the cars in this on this property. <laughs> so moving. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Then a little moved. kick. Cool. All right. Well, then we can move forward. Let's yeah, let me, uh, I'll start pulling plugs. Yeah. And, I tell you what, uh, a little air would have been a good idea. A little bit, of, yeah, because there's a little bit of crud sitting on top of the butterflies yeah. in the car, which. I didn't think about that. Let me bring it. That, that might not be hard for me to take, pop off and just flip it upside down and shake it out. Oh, gotcha. Might okay. be, a, be a gasket for it in the back of the car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll pull a few more of these leaves up, just so we can see it. One's on your side, right? We gotta remember the firing order, we're gonna pull them off. It's probably on the inside. <clears throat> wow, what I meant is more on the cap. Oh yeah. I think I got a marker with me. Oh, look at that. Because Ford messed up the order, they couldn't even order spark plugs, right? Oh. <clears throat> Right, because isn't this five over here? On the passenger side? Gomer. It might, yeah, you're probably right. right. All right, so let's do it this way. This is the one I can label easy. Call that seven. Seven, there. Got a point of reference that way. Ford. You silly Ford. Hmm. It's odd. What's that? Oh, that's one boot. I don't have a boot. Probably rotted right off. Du, 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 okay. du, 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 du. Let me take this out of the way. Ooh. Shit, that didn't work very well. Wow. That's pretty tight. Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. You know what? 
I do have compressed air. A little, little black. They a little dark? A little bit. Well, it means it was running. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to use this just to blow the air off. There. Like that. I need a longer pry bar. <laughs> I can probably find one later on. Yeah. yeah, I got it. I really don't want to take my knuckles off today. You can see it's already been a bad week. Okay, got mine out. Only one, only one bad one. Yeah. Uh, you got the. That's odd. You get the spray over there. Oh, do. Sorry. It's all right. All right, we have our plugs out, and like I said, we're gonna put a little lubricant in there. This happens to be uh, deep creep. Um, it was something I just snagged off the shelf at Thurlby's, and uh, we're gonna put it in each cylinder, and it'll help. Yeah, basically just loop things around and move it as we're uh, trying to turn it over with a starter eventually. And got this fancy wand. Check this out. Almost got the camera on there. That was perfect. Down the hole. Two, three, four, five. Is that how many you put on your side? Yeah, about that. Two, three, four, five. See, you never get a can down there. No. Even with the nozzle that comes with it. No, no way. That's why these things are so nice to have. Um, yeah, I said we hooked the battery up. We got that little jump starter button. Yep. Instead of using a screwdriver across terminals. We could yep. do that too, but. We could. I and, like the trigger uh, better. Yeah, it's a little, a little fancier. So yeah, yeah let through. me grab that trigger and set that in there. Love. This is how we launch the rockets. Now, so all this is is if we're going to jump across the, the the big line on the battery, and then feed power to the solenoid. And what that'll do is it'll trigger the solenoid without using the key, and because we're right here underneath the hood, but it eliminates you know any issues from wiring being chewed up by mice between the engine and the key. But we'll. But doing that, we can we can bump this over and we'll spin the motor over, assuming the starter works. That's kind of the next thing because we know the motor's free. Absolutely, we can see that. Now, is it free all the way around? Is another story, right? Because it yeah, could have a bad. It could have a stuck valve. It could have right a couple things. Yep. All right. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Here we go. I have compression on this I, side. I do too. We got pistons in there. Wow. Man, it turned over pretty well. It did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Check that out. There's a small victory. That is a small victory. Okay. Cool. So, evidently, we've, uh, out of all these cars, we did manage to pick the one that's going to start <laughs> all right i should yeah, say it turns it over turns over let's not jinx ourselves yeah i mean i i liked it just because it's a station wagon but ah sweet it is okay. a cool car um all right next step yeah next step see what we have for ignition right yeah uh pull the cap clean the points um i guess we can I'll, just we I'll, can ohm stuff out yeah i can uh i'll throw new plugs in it okay um, do you want to try the try it with the switch with the key? Yeah, why not? I mean, uh, yeah, we did find the key. Okay. Okay, key's in the ignition. Next to all the spider webs. Hey, I got a dome light in here. 
Do you really? No doubt. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ooh. I got lights that flip on, but does this have any kind of neutral safety? It seems to be in gear. I'm not getting anything. Okay. I mean, I'm getting stuff on the dash. That's pretty crazy. Got headlights? You got some? One. Nice. All right, well, that would have been easy. <laughs> uh, I guess all that really means is we don't have key to the starter. We don't know that we don't have ignition, right? Hot to the ignition. So right. we can put the key back in it. But let's get the test light and we'll check for power going to the coil. And if not, we'll just hot wire the coil. Yeah, and the coil fine. might not be any good either. It might not. We have a coil. We do have a coil. So we're going to use a test light on this just to see if we have power going to the coil. Uh, the point of a test light, it's truly a ground wire. Go to the positive. It's got a light bulb in between. If you have power on that uh, wire, then obviously the bulb should light up. Okay. Yeah. Ground. Bully. What would you like to use for a ground? Got enough cable there to go right to the battery. That would be best. Let's use that. Okay. I shouldn't have anything here right now. That's ground there. Should be all here. Tell you what, you want to throw the key in, Jeff, and, and turn the just turn it on to run. Yeah, we got power to the coil. Excellent. It's just not triggering. It's just not catching this, the starter. This, yeah, which we can jump with the remote button. Yeah, as long as you have ignition on. Yeah, we adding, yeah have the ignition on. We're good. Okay, that'll be helpful. All right. Yeah, you're right. It's a little, a little wonky. The switch, but yeah, everything. Yeah, there's like a, because you like you turn the turn signals on, they they make and break. Yeah. So. Obviously, all the contact points are going to be iffy, right? But we'll use this for our start of the okay. key. Yeah, oh, that's great. Because it does the same thing. Um, so we'll throw that back. The over. debris down the carb kind of concerns me a little bit. Yeah. Um, well, it's not like it's going to plug up any injectors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to get too worried about, I don't think, running any fuel right now, at least, through the carburetor. Okay. Well, I think what we want to do is, we got that squirt bottle of fuel. We'll just see if we can get it. Verify we have ignition, you know, spark to the plugs, mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll just dump gasoline right down the, down the carburetor. And then if we decide we want to go further than that, maybe we'll pull the carburetor off and run fuel to it, flush it a little bit and run okay. fuel to it. Yeah. But right now, I think if, if we can make it cough, hack, and go pop, pop, pop. Oh, that'll be amazing. That'd be awesome, right? Yeah, totally. I mean, we're talking how many years? 50. Unfortunately, yes, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, anything sitting in this condition for that long to be able to fire, make some noise is, is really pretty impressive. So we, we got free rotation so far. We have um, power to the ignition. Chances are this coil is no good. We'll ohm it out and see if it has an open. At least that's a good place to start. So we got 1.6 across the terminals. Okay. Yeah. Just compare it to. A... So I had 1.6 on that one. We're not getting it to. This one's open. Uh, 1.3. That's pretty good. So they're. I'm gonna say that one's fine. Yeah. 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 That coil's still good. Okay. That's cool. We are gonna pull the cap right away and clean up the points. That's a given. I mean, shoot, they. Corrode up sitting in the shop in a couple months, so I'm sure they're corroded here. 
and then we can uh, we can check across them and make sure there's getting spark and blah 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 that way and then of course we'll run plugs in it and next thing we want to do is check for spark coming off a of wire you can do that one of two ways i'll say you can just take a spark plug put it in the hole you know put it on the ground hold on to it hope you don't get electrocuted or you can use one of these fancy deals, which is basically the same thing. You have it's going to jump the spark, jump the gap right here, just like it does on a spark plug. But this clips on, and uh, well, might have less curly hair before you're done. We're going to try this first because we all know what happens when the, ooh, that one's not real tight. I say, I think it was a car from here. In that. Oh yeah, it was a pickup truck. Shocked you. Bit me. Ooh, that one snaps on nice. Now, where would we like to find ground? I think I can get ground here. I guess I could check with home here. You do a car bolt. Well, let's try that. Here we go. Sure. Hey, we got spark. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. I mean, like immediately. Boom. Wow. Okay. Let's throw some plugs in this thing. <laughs> I'm going to die laughing when this thing starts running. <laughs> A nice shiny oh, plug. Right. Heck yeah. Well, this head design is interesting. How the, yeah, it is. Where two, two plugs angle forward and two angle back. Yep center two face each other it's kind of yeah it's a little different plugs are installed jeff's got his wires on i got to catch up get my wires put on and then we're gonna throw some fuel down the hole and see if it fires up that's right i can't see the date on the oil change it's all washed out it's well eight that's it sorry so i diverted to the glove box just to see if we could find a registration date on it. Well, there's a 62 plates in the back. The registration shows, uh, what did I say, 63? 1963, yeah. Yeah, 1963. So, who knows? Interesting, if it's that. That would only be a five years old. Stop driving it. Key's on. Dome light's on. It's amazing that dome, dome light goes light off, too. Switch works still. Shoot, the dome light don't go off on my check up all right moment of truth here boy ready i'm ready mm. okay okay <laughs> no stage fright now yeah let's do it well let's uh the carbs free enough to open i'm just gonna leave it open it's a little sticky okay Suck some of that beautifulness down the throat. Okay. Ready? Yep. Tried. Yes, it did. In fact, it tried to starter kicked out. That's what that, right? Yeah. Okay, hit it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing's going to run. Man. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Roll it. A little bit. I flood it. I probably flooded it. I got, I got too anxious. Okay, it's wide open. It didn't have enough fuel. Didn't have enough. Okay, okay. we can fix that. Have at it. We need to the... start kicked out. Yep. Always promise a fire. Yeah. Suck her back down. All right. Get a piece of. What is that inside there? I don't know, but it looks gasket? hot. <laughs> yeah, it, it does is. look hot. It's hot. 
Yeah, it's a piece of gasket. Okay. Here, I'll just crack this throttle and try it. <laughs> just one case, stay running. It's weird, but it's still firing. Oh, it's firing. It it's, wants to yeah, run. Yeah, it does. It's like, please let me do it. Let me do it. Yeah. Okay. Damn sun's out again, Ben. Yeah. It's gonna be a bright. Yeah. It's gonna be a bright sunny day here real soon. Uh. Huh. Can you believe though? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's nuts. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. I don't want to be discouraged because I won't sit here idle. I mean, that's pretty. I think pretty greedy. <laughs> honestly, I think we could. I think we could play with it a little bit, and make that happen. Think so? I, th I think so. We at are. least have it. You know, at least get it to run for ten seconds. Yeah, that's, I figured. I for sure I could keep it right here. I, I, if anyone doesn't believe that this car hasn't been sitting here for a good part of fifty years, well. And I guess they don't see the same reality that I, I guess see. Not. Um, but if you remember, so kind of roll back here a little bit. Let me stand out of the sun. No, you stand in the sun. That's fine. Hey, but I can't see you then. <laughs> All uh, right. So let's roll back here just a little bit. Jeff and I didn't just roll over here like out of the blue. We knew this car was sitting here because a couple of years ago I was over here with Tom and doing a barn find hunt over here on this property. In fact, if you remember, that 1950 Chevy pickup truck was sitting over here in, well, this T-Bird was not here, but it was dead smack behind this Ranchero and sunk into the dirt. All right, you wanna do another one? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. That was a good one. There it was. <laughs> I knew we'd get one. <laughs> it's weird, it's like as soon as I let off the starter is when she dies. Mm. Um. <laughs> huh? uh, Check that out. Victory. That's 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 amazing. That's victory right there. That's what it is. It needs a lot of fuel. Yeah, it does to keep it rolling. I've said it 17 times already, but this car's been sitting here for at least 50 years, or at least has not been running in 50 years. Jeff and I got it running before noon. By the way, we got here what about 9:30 ish? Yeah. Not bad for two hours worth of work. It's no. 11.30. Uh, it runs, I'm gonna say, right? Fires up, runs off the bottle. Since it is so early in the day, we're gonna get a little greedy and we're gonna pull the carburetor off and see if we can freshen that up real quick and, and make it idle. I'm all for that. Wouldn't that be sweet if it'll idle? That'd be awesome. Um, so let's see if we can do that. We can put a little effort to it. It's not a big deal, right? Yeah. Um, What's the chance the gasket for the carburetors in with all the rest of these gaskets in the uh, well back? Of I the... think chances are pretty good. Yeah. And if not, Thurbys will have one. Yes, they will. <laughs> cool. Nice. Now we might take this back 
Should we take it back to the shop or do it right here? The carb? Yeah. We we'll probably do it right here. I can do it right here. Let's do it here. The only thing we're missing right here is compressed air. Nice and slow. The big reveal. Is that a metal gasket? Uh, sure. Because we could just glue it. Oh, there's a isolator. Because we could put just a little RTV on it if it's not broke. Right? That's not metal. That's what this. Yeah, that's a rubber. Almost actually rubber rubber. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just put a little RTV on it just to put it down. There's one that there's, that's a phenolic uh, fiber deal here. Separator. That's on there pretty good. I know we've made this far with nothing in it, but I just can't do it with, I can't walk away without at least plugging these with all the leaves hanging out. So there we go. Uh, pretty clean inside. Uh, float looks okay. Bad gasket on the top, but brass float. Yeah. I mean, there's a little bit of there's a little bit of sediment in the bowl, but yeah, uh, not the needle. Uh, kind of the needle of just. Yeah, I'll the, pull the vat. I'll pull the. Uh, spray it right out. Okay. Spray all the, you know, passages. See if we get all the passages clear, and then uh, shoot. We'll just put it on the way it is because, again, we don't need a gasket to, to seal off the top. It leaks a little. Yeah. It won't hurt anything. No, I agree. We want I agree. That's a good plan. I don't think that that accelerator pump's bad. Sure feels like it, it's still good. Yeah. All right, well, spray away, I guess. All right. Sweet. Yeah, that's going to the main jet there. Main okay. there. Uh, how about the inlet? Spray through the inlet when you... Yeah, watch it. That one's coming at you. Yeah, that one's fine. The small feeds. Hooked up on my side. Okay. Did you lube it? I mean, we got this fancy lube, man. Yeah, we do. We can even choke it now. Oh, yeah. You probably want to hook that back up? No. I'm going to put the spring on it. All right. Jeff took the carburetor apart, kind of cleaned some things up, and re Resealed it with some grease. Resealed it. It'll be all right. Best we could. And I do have an electric fuel pump here that we brought just in case. We're going to drag it out of our gas can and uh, hopefully we can get it to idle for maybe, eh, let's say, 10 seconds. I mean, that's a reasonable goal, I think. Yeah. Hopefully, we don't and, get a bunch of spray. Okay, there we got, we got fuel going. And if I read the label right, I'm going the right direction. I hear it. I don't see anything yet when we do it. Uh, yeah, you're completely dry. Okay. So now I wiggle things around. Oh, <laughs> work. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. Let me shut it off. Good? Yeah, because it should. See if it shuts off. Or floats, actually floats. And... It's floating. Look at that. What YouTube channel do you see that in action, man? I don't know. You actually see how a carburetor full it works. Let's see if it shuts off, though, because it might not. Well, it's going to pour all the side because I don't have the fill in. 
cool. Well, let's set this back down. I don't know how that's gonna it, be. But... Yeah, it kind of slides in right there. Right there, that's it? Yep. Y'all good? I think we're good. Okay. Ready, Freddy? I'm ready. Us too. Is that enough? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. There it is. <laughs> Ready for this? Look at that! <laughs> yeah. Wow! Woo. Unbelievable! Look at that baby go. You got <laughs> exhaust out the pipe. Not even burning any oil. Amazing. Look at that. <laughs> hey Dave, what's is that oil leak I'm seeing here? Burns like a kitty. Is that an oil leak right there? Yeah. Look at that. You want me to kill it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, our alternator's no good. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little oil leak across the front. It's, there's probably a uh, Either, a, I don't know if there's a line right there, but gasket, whatever. I mean, for God's sakes, oh, yeah. we'll give it a break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, nuts. Huh? I. Uh, You're right. You said, hey, we'll get this, we'll get it purring with a little cleanup of the... A little cleanup. Let, let the carburetor do what the carburetor is for, right? Yeah. That worked awesome. I didn't hear any knocks. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. <laughs> None. I None. didn't say, and, uh, I didn't see anything coming out of the tailpipe. No. Yeah, as far as like smoke, you know, like no oil smoke, smoke or nothing. nothing. Yeah. yeah, it definitely got oil pressure. Yeah. Because it's pushing right there. That yeah. is cool. <laughs> Man. Wow. What, what a deal. That's what a, a deal. I never would have thought that a car sits this long. I mean, can, but you know what that means. We got a couple more to try. Yeah. <laughs> well, we set out to start this engine and just have it, I mean, quite honestly, a backfire through the carburetor. I was happy. Yeah, totally. Um, by the, we did get that, by the way. So Yeah. <laughs> so we accomplished that challenge. But to sit and have it idle and purr was <laughs> amazing. Yeah. I, I mean, without a doubt. So... This is, I'm going to say, our first round of this, yeah. and uh, stay tuned because there's going to be a lot more because, well, it's fun. I don't know. I had a great time. I know. Today is a pretty memorable day for me. Uh, amen. So, uh, hey, if you know the drill, you know what's next. That's get out in the shop, go get your work done, and you know what? The next time you're driving around and you see a car sitting out in somebody's yard, shoot. Ask them if they'll let you start it. <laughs> you never know. That was neat. That I, was I cool. can't believe it. <laughs> hey, let's head to town, Jeff.